up everybody body 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 and welcome back to another marvel snap video 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 so today guys of course bring you all a brand new deck and this deck guys this is a sarah server deck i feel like this deck has been around for a very long time um you definitely see a lot of um sarah surfer um you know maybe it's a deck with um brood and absorbing man maybe it has sebastian shaw in it maybe it has all three of them in it uh so you definitely do see a lot of these kinds of like shells um there was one with like the valentine's lover thing um where there were a bunch of um They're like a bunch of, you know, Sarah and Angela decks with, that were going around as well. Um, so definitely a lot of different variations of the Sarah Surfer. One that could include a bunch of three drops. One that includes, you know, again, like Forge, you know, for sure. But I am excited to try this one out. It always seems to be a pretty solid deck to use. One that can generate a bunch of power. Of course, someone like Shadow King kind of ruins it. And also like a Cosmo or whatever. This seems to be pretty nice. But I've got a feeling this is too much power. Yeah, that, that's probably the early thing that concerns me is that that's way too much power. So, I might do something like this into this. I find that's pretty good because my short. I mean, he's gonna get what? He gets the plus one from Nerva, and then he gets plus two from his ability. And then a forge into Brood's always pretty nice. Um, I've got a feeling this dude's using a... Yeah, it's just a, um, was it? A Corvus Hella deck. It's definitely what it is. Um, I kind of forgot though. I probably should have saved Forge. Cause that kind of sucks. Cause we could have had some pretty good power with the Brood, but... I mean, it's not looking too great, right? Because he, what, probably plays like a Corvus or something here. Or he could just drop crazy amounts of power. I guess that's also where this deck falls short. Is that like the power compared to the decks that are going around nowadays? The power just isn't really there. So that is a bit unfortunate for us. But if I can top deck uh, Silver Surfer, I love Gladiator, Brood, Surfer, that's a nice little combo, but Gladiator's a bit sketchy against this guy because, again, he's running a Corvus and Hella deck, so he probably has some crazy drops as he, of course, he gets my Forge from the uh, Bugle. Uh, gets rid of the Hell Cow. And let's see if we can top deck Silver Surfer or not. Uh, we don't. We actually get Rogue. Oh man, this is not looking good. Um, so my first thing is probably just go Brood Gladiator. I guess like Blade Aquie. Um, oh my lord, this is probably not going to work. I feel like I have way too much power on the right. But again, if I had Silver Surfer, if I top decked him, I'd definitely feel way better. Because my Brood would be like, what, 4 power? Okay, that's, yeah, I think he still beats us, right? Yeah, oh, nowhere near enough. Oh, of course, that, that, yeah. I kind of figured something like that was going to happen where, since he's running this kind of deck, we would just be pretty unfortunate and um pull a big card, but regardless, GG's to my opponent. First up is Kunlun. I love what I see. Uh, we have Surfer, Absorbing Man, and Sarah. If I can get a Forge, oh my god, we get Brood. If I can Forge the Brood, that would be devastating. I've got a feeling this is another Hella discard. <laughs> oh my lord. Um, Nova. Nova's alright. I actually don't mind Nova because I can just drop him at Death's Domain. Gladiator Mid also seems pretty nice. 
so I can go gladiator mid next turn. Yeah, this is a hella discard because he's got to go Modal Kyo and then hella behind that. Um, if I go gladiator here, then I can go Sarah left, and then I can go Silver Surfer, Absorbing Man, Nova right. Then I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, that's pretty nice because we can destroy their Iron Man. That helps. They drop a magic, which sucks. I mean, kind of. It's actually not too bad. Um, I have three in my deck. Hopefully, Shaw stays in there when I drop a Koye, but... I mean, I have a lot of options now, right? Again, this is just a traditional Hella discard we're going up against. Ghost Modok here, and then Hella. And then he might drop someone else somewhere. It depends if he has the cards, though. But see, they play super giant, but <laughs> that does not matter. So that means what? I do this into this, right? Into that. This is kind of kind of nuts, isn't it? Um, well, forge into shore, and then that's basically it. There's nothing else I can do. I mean, I feel pretty good. I think I might snap on that. Um, again, there's nothing else I can really do. Like I can't play anyone at Death's Domain. Akoya is not going to do anything. Naki's not going to do anything. Rogue's not going to steal anything. But yeah, this is feeling pretty good, dude. This is feeling very nice. That's Murdoch. And then, of course, hell has got to come back, right? I mean, we do go first, so that's not too bad. Of course, there goes our surfer. Shaw gets big. Absorbing Man goes again. This is nuts. I mean, I know they have a bunch of power. But this is looking really, really good for us. I know this guy definitely didn't expect this one. Because I know that's Ella. Oh my, look at that. You're saying even with Living Tribunal, this dude's gonna beat us. Yeah, dude. That's way too much power for them. I mean, to be fair, they played a good game, but 19 power Sebastian Shaw basically equals a 20 power Infinite. Oh my gosh, and a 13 power gladiator, like this is nuts, so GG's to my opponent. Alright, very nice opening hand. Hell's Kitchen is going to give us Nova, which, I mean I might as well just play Nova. If I can get Killmonger, that's always pretty nice. They drop a Nebula, so I'm assuming they're using a, well there's our Killmonger. But I'm going to assume they're using like a Lockdown-esque deck. But we do have to wait and see on that one. Uh, and Tinker's Workshop. Now, I mean, Tinker's Workshop's alright. Like, I'm not going to play Absorbing Man because of Okoye. Um, I mean, do I just go Forge? And then hopefully I can top deck like Brood or something. Okay, well they have armor, so what? They're gonna drop some crazy card over here. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, they think I'm running a destroy deck, don't they? I mean, I might as well just tempo into Killmonger. Oh. Oh, wow, there's no way, there's actually no way they thought I would uh, be doing that. That's kind of nuts. I find that kind of ridiculous. Uh, uh, wow, okay. Well, that sucks. I'll say that much. <laughs> um, well, I feel like you have to go. That's fine. Yeah, I I'm fine with something like this. It's not the greatest. 
Well, I mean, he gets rid of that. Um, yeah, I don't think we win this. Even with my short getting. Yeah, no way. Damn, dude, we definitely could have won that. That was a close game. I feel like if I just played Gladiator left, surf for mid, then I would have won. But it is what it is, so GG's to my opponent. Alright, first up, Lake Hellas, which, I mean, I can play my Nova there, but it's not like it's going to do much. Especially since I probably am going to play my Killmonger. Uh, White Hot Room is nice. If I get Forge into, like, Brood, that would be very, very nice. And then we have a Monster Island. I do get my Killmonger. But I am just going to go Narkia mid. Again, if I get Brood, that also is nice. And it is just a Corvus Hella. Yeah. I mean, you always see people use Corvus and Hella now. Um, Rogue isn't going to do much. I think I just swing my Killmonger to the right. Destroy my Nova, which might be too early, but... It is what it is. Ghost Rider's going to bring back what? Dr. Doom. Okay. Interesting. Kind of sucks that he just played Sunspot, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'll go Sarah mid. Oh, wow. Okay, so what? It was an Agatha deck. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, of course. Uh, well, I don't have enough energy t to do that. Um, do I? Nah, there's no way. Because what? Well, he becomes a 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. I'm still short. Do I just do this and hope that they don't play mid? Which, I mean, of course they do. There's the hella. Oh, that's it. You know what? Um, I don't think we win, though. I think we lose tiebreak. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We didn't even die down mid, and he just beats us by one. <laughs> so that's pretty unfortunate because we we're actually really close there, but to my opponent but i mean yeah guys yeah guys yeah guys that is it for this video 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 let me know what you guys think about this deck down in the comments below and also if you guys did enjoy please make sure to give this one a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel show support i'd appreciate all of it and as always